Yo, yo. So I recently came across this incredible design article, Little UI Details, uh, put together by yours truly, Steve Shoger. Shout out, Steve. Throw a link to his Twitter handle and the article in the comments below. Uh, but this is a collection of super concrete, actionable ways that you can improve your UI and your visual design. And I love this because so much of the articles that come out today have very valuable information, but it's often relatively abstract. And this is just chock full of great ways that you can actionably improve your work. And that inspired me to think about uh, if there are any other tips that I could think of uh, to help out with your UI and your visual design. And one thing that jumped to mind was creating nice, subtle shadow values. Uh, as I'm sure you guys know, shadows are back. Uh, they're being used all over the place. Um, and creating them subtly is a bit of an art. This is one of my favorite designers here, Brian Lovin from Design Details. I think he's executed it very, very nicely on his website here. And how do we go about creating these shadow values? So let's start from scratch here. And let's say we want to add shadows to this header and to this card. So I'm going to select the card here, and I'm going to add a shadow. And you can tell the default here for sketch is pretty garish and intense. So I'm going to copy this over so we can have it as a comparison. Let's see how we can make these more subtle. I recommend, as a starting set of values, 0, 2, and 2 for the blur. And then in the color panel, reducing your opacity from 50 down to 10. And you can see what that looks like here. If you want to try that on the header and on the other cards, you can select this, go edit, copy, copy style, and then I can go command option V, command option V to paste those nicer, less intense shadow values. Curious if you guys have other ways that you do this, let me know in the comments below.